Connect Well is an organisation, a partnership really, that's come together with a group of organisations. There's eight in all, and we've come together because we are interested in mental health of people and their wellbeing and prevention rather than necessarily cure because it's so much better. It's so much easier to prevent mental health issues than it is to get in there after people have broken down. Um, we provide counselling, all of us, so it was a natural partnership and it means that people are able to access services across Outer Gippsland rather than in one or two particular places or from one or two particular providers. So we share information, um, techniques, uh, but also we share the, the load, basically. The mental health issues from the drought and the 2020 bushfire disaster are many. Stress, hardship, depression, anxiety, and the isolation. Connectwell East Gippsland and Wellington Partnership is a collaboration of eight organisations working across the outer Gippsland region. They include Central Gippsland Health, Lifeline Gippsland, Orbost Regional Health, Omeo District Health, Relationships Australia Victoria, the Royal Flying Doctors Service Victoria, Gippsland Lakes Complete Health and Yarram District Health Service. This initiative is really important to the East Gippsland and Wellington regions because it's about improving the health and wellbeing outcomes for the people of this region. Uh, we see that by working together, we can have a stronger impact and we are more likely to be able to have uh, an impact on people's wellbeing. Well, the collective aim is to work with people uh, on their mental health and wellbeing, specifically around drought and bushfire. So that was the, the reason that we came together. Um, the three year drought was really pulling on East Gippsland and Wellington, so outer Gippsland. Um, and there was, a lot of, uh, there was a lot of angst about whether it was going to rain again, whether there was water to be had. There were animals uh, not being able to be kept. Um, and that's a very hard thing for a farmer. I, I think people think farming is an ideal life. It's very idyllic and it is. It's a beautiful life if everything goes well, but when it's not going well, it's really hard because you can't go, you can't get up in the morning and go, I'll just ring the boss and tell him I'm not coming in today, I don't feel well. It doesn't matter whether you feel well in your head or you feel well physically. If you don't go to work on that day or you don't get someone in to do it, something wilts, something dies, or something gets through a fence that you weren't able to do. So it's a lot of pressure. It's a high pressure job. Even though living on a farm is beautiful, you can eat your food, you know, you get fresh food, all of the wonderful things that go with farm life. You've got space, you're your own boss. But in lots of ways, being your own boss is a trap. And um, when things are not going well, that's when people really start to feel it. So it's, it's not a business that you can go, right, I've got all the systems right now, it'll be fine, because you only need a change in the weather and your systems are, are thrown out and that's pressure.